Hi guys, so today I have a super, super, super exciting video for you. Now, recently a fragrance released and it is a flanker to one of my most favorite niche fragrances. I used to love this perfume so much and I still do to this day. I just went through like three bottles and I wore it so much that now the scent is not something that I'm gravitating towards all the time, but just because of how much I wore it in the past. But today I am going to do a full comparison and tell you guys what is my favorite between Delina, the exclusive and the new Delina La Jose. So yes, Today, that is what we're going to be covering. Which one of these fragrances is the best? Which one is the most suitable for you? And which one, in my opinion, is my favorite and what I love the most? So let's start out with the original Delina. This fragrance is by far one of the most popular niche fragrances for women, hands down. It is by far the most popular and I know so many, well, me not personally, but I know from the brand that a lot of celebrities, uh, influencers, like big influencers that have a huge following are wearing this perfume. Like I said, celebrities, there are so many people wearing the original Delina now that for the brand, this is a huge, huge success. It is one of their best sellers along with Leighton for men and Pegasus as well. So let's talk about the original Delina. I have the notes here. I'm going to talk about the way it smells, the longevity and who it's suitable for. So the original Delina came out in 2017 and it was composed by the perfumer Quinton Bish, who did all three of the Delinas, obviously. And let me just go through quickly the notes in Delina. The top notes are lychee, rhubarb, bergamot and nutmeg. The middle notes are Turkish rose, peony, musk, petalia and vanilla. And the base notes are cashmere and ve uh, vetiver, cedar, wood and incense. I didn't wear this for a long time, so it's going to be nice to smell it. The original Delina for me, there was a point in my life where I was wearing this every single day. It is a super sexy, plush, rosy, peony, floral fragrance, but it's not a translucent floral. We're going to get to that after. This is a very plush, luxurious, ultra feminine, ultra feminine. Just imagine what I'm wearing right now with the puffy sleeves. This is Delina in a bottle. It is this ultra feminine, slightly powdery, slightly soapy. It has this kind of punch, punchy sourness from the rhubarb in the fragrance, which for some people, this note disturbs them and it gives them a headache. For me, I really love it because it's a contrast to the floral notes in the fragrance. So for me, that little punchy rhubarb kick gives it a contrast, which I love fragrances like this that have something kind of peculiar in the fragrance that gives the fragrance a contrast. So for me, the mix of the peony, the rose, the very floral feminine notes mixed with that beautiful punchy rhubarb. It is just gorgeous. The longevity on this fragrance is incredible. It lasts on my skin personally for like 10 hours on my skin. If I spray quite a lot, it lasts a very long time. The dry down is beautiful. It's a very clean, musky, sexy dry down. The opening, like I said, is very fresh and punchy. In the mid, you definitely get that beautiful floral powderiness, but it still has that little punchy kick in there. For me personally, the lychee is not super prominent in the original Delina. It's more the rhubarb that I smell. So the rose, peony, the rhubarb for sure. Very plush, very powdery, very luxurious and ultra, ultra feminine. Like I said, longevity around 10 hours on my skin. Huge compliment getter. I've mentioned it before, but Delina was one of my most complimented perfumes of all time. And with that being said, I rate the original Delina a nine out of 10. For me, 
It is a fantastic fragrance. Delina exclusive. Now, the only thing that I don't really like, and I will be honest about it, is the fact that these bottles are exactly the same. The only thing that differentiates them is the fact that there is Delina exclusive written here, which for me is kind of not enough to differentiate the bottles. Cause how do you know which one you're picking up if you're kind of just quickly grabbing one and going? it's not enough to differentiate. So I wish that they had put this maybe in a darker bottle, like maybe a darker pink bottle or something, you know, like I just wanted something to be able to differentiate because you really have to look at it and be like, oh, I'm wearing the exclusive today. So let's spray it. Same perfume on Quinton Bish. Now for me, the Delina exclusive versus Delina, they're very different in my opinion. They're very, very different. The Delina exclusive is a lot more full. It's definitely less fresh. And I will go ahead and read the notes. So the top notes, you have lychee, pear, and bergamot. The mid, you have Turkish road, oud, and incense. And the base notes, you have vanilla, amber, and woody notes. Now, for me personally, there is something in the exclusive that does bother me a little bit. And I'm going to be honest about that now. There is nothing in the original that bothers me. Although I do know from experience and from people telling me and looking at reviews, watching reviews, some people find the original Delina gives them a headache because of that kind of sour touch to it. Now for me, there is something in the exclusive that I find there is this kind of underlying note in the fragrance and I cannot even pick up what it is. It almost has a little bit of a milkiness to it, like very subtle, like don't take it like it's a lactonic fragrance. It's not, but it does have something in the bottom that I can't quite put my finger in. Finger in? For me personally, there is something in the Delino exclusive that does bother me a tiny bit. It still really smells like the DNA of Delino. It just is more sweet, more kind of syrupy and rounded and creamy. Now, there is a lot of people, I feel like you're either a Delina girl or you're a Delina exclusive girl. I recommend the Delina exclusive to somebody who likes sweeter fragrances somebody who likes more fruity type of scents, a lot of vanilla in their perfumes. This is who I recommend the Delina exclusive for. The original I recommend for somebody who likes a little more fresh floral feminine scents, definitely floral, but you like that very feminine, girly, floral, luxurious type of scent. And the exclusive is more like a sweeter, creamier, more edible version of the Delina DNA. So both of them have fantastic longevity. And if you watch my channel, you know that I love to mix these two together. Whenever I was wearing Delina, I was usually mixing a little bit of the exclusive, despite the fact that it did bother me a little bit. I did love to kind of mix it a touch. So for me, I give the Delina exclusive a seven out of 10. And I give the Delina, like I said, a nine out of 10. I forgot to mention, this is not a sponsored video by Parfum de Mali. I, they didn't even tell me to make this video, nothing. I just wanted to do it because I know that Delina is one of the most popular perfumes for women. And everybody is asking me what I think about the new release. So let's go ahead. And what I love, I freaking love, thank you to Parfum de Mali. I love that the bottle is translucent. It is a frosted glass in light pink and I think it is just gorgeous. I think this is the most beautiful Delina bottle by far. It's beautiful. Now let's talk about the scent. Again, non-biased opinion right now, I don't care. The top notes we have pear, lychee and bergamot, same as the other ones. Middle notes you have Turkish rose, peony, watery notes and floral notes and the base notes you have white musk, vetiver and woody notes. This is just gorgeous. I'm just gonna put it right now. This is really a gorgeous scent. It is fresh and watery. It has the Delina DNA. I actually think that they did a fantastic job at changing the sense of the Delina line. Usually when you smell a flanker to a fragrance, it smells almost exactly the same. Let's be honest, like love your bell, love your bell, absolute love your bell, this, love your bell, that. They all smell exactly the same. Whereas the Delina line, I think the brand did a fantastic job of keeping the DNA of the fragrance but making them smell different, if that makes any sense. The Delina La Rose. Let me start out by saying this fragrance to me personally 
reminds me quite a lot of Dolce & Gabbana Limperatrice. If you know this fragrance, Delina La Rose smells very, very, very similar, but a very luxurious high-end version of Limperatrice. It is very watery and fruity, and to me, I cannot tell you guys how much I am convinced that there is watermelon in this perfume. For me, there is watermelon in here and nobody can tell me otherwise. I smell watermelon, guys. I smell watermelon and I'm convinced that it's in here. It is a gorgeous, fresh, fruity, girly, um, plush fragrance, very ethereal, very translucent, very beautiful, very easy to wear and something that I was shocked about and i'm not saying this i don't care if you don't buy this fragrance i would honestly i'm gonna say it right now i would rather you buy minue demi my perfume i don't care but this is really fantastic and it lasts on your skin which is what i was surprised about i really thought that because of the watery notes because it's more fresh and less uh intense and it doesn't have the same base notes as let's say the exclusive or the delino I really thought that this fragrance was not really going to last on my skin. It lasts a good eight hours on your skin. And that's why I love it. And honestly, guys, for me, this is a great, easy reach fragrance. For me, this is just beautiful. Like I said, it really smells to me like Limperatrice from Dolce & Gabbana, but a very high-end, luxurious version. It has that watery watery touch it smells like a more green and aquatic version of delina very refreshing very light and very easy to wear i do recommend this if the delina exclusive and the delina gave you a headache i am almost certain that this fragrance will not give you a headache if you like your more watery fresh sporty type of fragrances this one is going to be right up your alley 100 and i would say go ahead and buy it now the big question is what do i rate it and i rate the delina la rose an 8 out of 10 being my second favorite in the delina line for me the original is still the best and i will tell you because for me the delina the original it smells like luxury, it smells expensive, it smells like this beautiful, feminine, luxurious woman on the go. She's girly, she's beautiful, she's put together, and it really smells luxurious, and that's why it still has to be my number one personally. It has the freshness, but it still is a full-bodied floral scent, which is what I love about it. Then I would say my second favorite is now the La Rose because I do personally love like a fresh, watery, floral. I love that type of fragrance. And for me, at the moment, this is my go-to like running errands, out of the shower type of scent. So I do have to say that it is my second favorite. And then I would say my least favorite from the line is the exclusive. And I tell you because it does have a note in the fragrance that does bother me. So for me personally, I would never... Me personally, guys, I would never just wear the Delina exclusive. I would always layer it with Delina or the Rosé or whatever. I would never really wear this one by itself because for me, it does put me off a little bit somewhere in the fragrance. That is my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I gave you guys enough information about the whole entire line. Let me know your comments down below which one is your favorite. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.